Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to be looking at an exam question for exam question Monday. And we looked at this question on a recent live stream that we did, which is about converting an NFA, uh, sorry, a regular grammar into an NFA. And then from an NFA, we create a regular expression. So we're going from a regular grammar to an NFA to a regular expression. So how do we get from a regular grammar here to an NFA? Well, recall that a regular grammar is one that has variables on the left side of each rule. And on the right hand side can either be a epsilon or a single terminal like here, or just a variable, and there isn't one in this case, or a terminal followed by a variable. So the basic construction of how to do this is, well, if you think about it, Whenever we're replacing one variable, we're either going to have one variable to replace it with, or we're going to replace it with nothing. So we start with one variable, and we keep marching along with one variable until at some point we don't have any variables left. So that means that we should, for the purposes of making an NFA, we're going to be in one state at each point along the way. So. What we're going to do then is for each of the variables, we're going to make a state for each one of them. So S, A, B like this. So the start variable in this case is S. So that means that S is the start variable. And how do we make the transitions in here? Well, what we do is we look at the rules, say this one, S goes to little a, big A. So that means that we're going to be replacing S with the variable A as well as producing the character A. But for the purposes of an NFA, it's got to read a string. So therefore, we go to the state A here on the character A because that's what the, what the actual character that was produced by the regular grammar was. And now let's handle this rule. Well, this rule, A goes to epsilon, has no var variable associated on the right-hand side. Well, I can't have the um, state be something like this, the, the transition be like this. Well, then that for the reason that we're going back to the same state or any one of these three states, that means that we are replacing the variable with another variable. But that's not the case here. We're replacing the variable with nothing. So what that means is if you think about how the derivation works here, we're going to have one variable along for the ride until we apply a rule like this one in which the variable goes away. So that means that the derivation actually stops because there's no variables left to replace. So what we need to do here is I'm going to make a brand new state that is a final state because that means that the string has been fully produced. So what do we do here? A goes to that state on whatever was produced on the right hand side of this roll, which happens to be epsilon in this case. Maybe let me zoom in so it's easier to see. And then now let's handle the other rules. A goes to BS, that's pretty clear. So that comes back to here to the state S on input B. A goes to BA, well that's just a self loop on B. Big A goes to little a big B. So that means we're going to go over to here on little a. And then for the state b, well, the it just produces the terminal b in this rule and no variable. So like we did before, we're going to go to that final state on input b. And for this one, we're going to go to the state s on input a. And we can't make any one of these three three states final because that would imply that we would still have a variable along for the ride in the derivation, but at, for that reason we haven't produced a term, uh, string full of terminals. So we need to be able to eliminate that one variable to make a string full of terminals. And so that's why we make a new final state here. Cool. So then now we need to convert this NFA right here into a DFA, I mean into a regular expression. So let's just copy and paste this big boy in. Copy, paste. And recall that we need to make some adjustments to the NFA in order to be able to apply the GNFA method to be able to convert it to a regex. And that first step is to make a 
brand new start state, I call it Q0, which has nothing coming into that state, and epsilon's its way to the old uh, start state, which is S here. And we need a single final state with nothing leaving it. Well, we already have that here, so we don't need to do anything special. Okay, so then now we need to, in this machine, we need to rip out these three states. And again, if you remember from the video I've done before, the order doesn't matter. So I can rip out S first, A, then B, or any other order that I like. So my general advice is to pick states such that they're really easy to rip out. And by easy, I mean few transitions involving them. So what do we do here? Well, B looks like a good choice. So let's try to rip B out. And recall that we need to make our in and out lists, where the in and the out lists are the states that go into the state that we're trying to rip, which is B. So A goes into B, and no other states do. No other states go into B. And where, do, where does B go? It goes to S and to F. So those, we have those two states on our out list. So because we have one state on our in list and two states on our out list, we need to make two transitions, one times two. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to copy and paste this thing. So copy, paste, maybe make a little smaller. And let's just let's see what happens if we try to eliminate B. Well then now we need to pick a state from the in list and a state from the out list. So let's pick A and S. So that means we're going to make a transition from A to S, and what will that be? Well, it would have been what we would have done if we went into the state B, maybe a self-loop if there was one, and what we would have done if we went back to S. Well, that's just A, A, and there's no self-loop on the original state B. So that means that we're going to add the transition from A to S on input A, A. Well, we already have a transition B here, so for regex purposes, we could either take the B path or we can take the AA path. And for regexes, that corresponds to union. So we do that. And then the other pair we could have picked is A and F. So that means we could have done AB. We already have the transition epsilon there. So like before, we're going to do epsilon union AB. We could either take the epsilon path that was there, or we can take this longer one that's there. So we're just simulating as if the state B were there, but it's not actually there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this guy, and we're going to rip out another state. Now, again, the order doesn't matter, so let's just say that we want to rip the state S. Again, it doesn't matter. I could have easily picked A. I can't pick S0 or F because S0 is the start state and F's the only final state, so then I would change the language definitely. So I gotta ch remove one of the other states. So in what states go into S, well, Q0 goes in, and uh, A also goes into S, so A is on that list. And where does S go to? Well, it goes to A, and that's it. So that means, again, we have two choices here, one choice here. So therefore, we're going to have two transitions we're going to make. So let's pick Q0 to A. Well, what, we, what would have we done if we just went through S? Well, Q0 into S was epsilon. No self-loop on, on the state S here, which is good. And then from here to A, well, we had the character A that we did. So we need a transition from Q0 to A on input A. Well, there wasn't one yet, so I'm going to make one on input A. Well, we, then now we need a, maybe I should just leave that in for um, our convenience. Well, now we need the one from A to itself, which is a self-loop. So that means we have B union, because we already had a self-loop there. B union, well, what would we have done? We could have done this B union AA, no self loop here, concatenated with, the whole thing concatenated with, the character A. So this may seem like a lot right here, but it's B union AA concatenated with A. 
and I need parentheses here because I'm concatenating A with the entire thing on the inside here. So therefore we have uh, this um, machine right here. And then now, well, the state A is the only one that we need to rip. And we don't need to make the in and out list on this one because there's only one way to get into it and one way to leave it. So there's no reason to actually make um, an in and out list here. Okay, so then what we would have done is, well, there's only one way in, so that's A. So the regex we'll have here is A. Concatenated with, well, we have a self loop here, and to represent a self loop is just doing the thing on the self loop with parentheses around it, star. So I'm going to have parentheses, everything on, on that self loop, which is B union, B union A A, whole thing A, star, and then maybe move it over a little bit. And then concatenated with the thing that takes us from state A to F, which is epsilon union A B. And I need parentheses here because if I left the parentheses out, then that means that the union would not work with the concatenating with this part over here. It would only apply to the epsilon part, not the AB part, so I need parentheses here. So we can conclude that this thing is the regex that we want. So I hope that was interesting. Let me uh, leave a comment below if you picked a different set of states and what the regex you found was. If you want to support this channel, please subscribe and like the video. It costs nothing and it takes very little time and very, uh, it helps a lot with the growth of the channel. If you want to support the channel more, we have a Patreon page where you get a lot of benefits as well as a Discord server. All of the links are in the video description. So as always, I will see you next time.